Welcome to another edition of Digital Marketing 101. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to create unbelievable lead magnets that are gonna convert and generate leads for you every single day. I'm Solomon Timothy, this is Digital Marketing 101. Let's get started. So one of the questions that I get often is, what are the steps in generating quality lead magnets that are gonna convert when I run ads or just putting it on my website or putting it on social media? What is the strategy, what's the secret to getting the lead magnets to actually perform for my business? So fantastic question. What I'm gonna do is show you how you should be thinking about lead magnets, how you can scale lead generation using different types of lead magnets, whether it's a quiz or, or a download, an ebook, PDF, whatever that might be you could use them to your advantage if you nail these few things. So here are some of the things that I found across all the different campaigns that I've been auditing for different business owners, different companies. There's a lot of things that I've noticed that are common and the, the complaint is yeah, these, these lead magnets don't, don't work. They, they don't, nobody downloads them. I'm not getting any results. Um, I spent a lot of time making them. I started to write down what I felt were things that could be improved to get better results. Personally, doing all of the campaigns ourselves, we work on this as a checklist to make sure that they're performing. If not, we go back and tweak these for our clients. All right, so here we go. Number one is not being very specific about the audience that are going to benefit from this ebook or, or this download, this checklist or whatever you're trying to give, this blueprint in generating whatever results that they're looking for. It's kind of too broad. That's issue number one is that you're not specific. What I mean is that you gotta be something for someone. In other words, you gotta tell them who is this is for and what problem you're going to solve. If you're not identifying the problem, which is a real challenge in the audience life, and if you're not saying who this is for, if you're selling to, let's say, financial advisors, you can't make it, hey, business owner. You gotta say, hey, financial advisor. And if this is about growth, then you talk about that. If it's about saving money, you need to talk about that. Who are we targeting and what problem are we solving? Which is actually my number second point. After I download this resource, because I'm gonna give you my information, that's really what you're looking for, it's my information. What am I going to get? What problem of mine are you going to solve? Look, if you're not gonna solve a problem of mine, I'm not gonna give you my information. And when you see generic titles, generic problems, it's really speaking to no one. In the agency world, we talk about niching down or having a specific niche before you can solve a problem is because everybody is everything to everyone, right? So unfortunately, you're not gonna get any results because you're, not, you're like speaking to no one. And so if it's a problem that your audience have specifically and they wake up with that pain every single day, go to sleep at night with that problem, whether it's too much inventory, so many problems you could be solving for businesses and, and, and consumers. If you don't speak to that problem directly and say that back pain of mine isn't going away, then I will download that. My hip pain, my knee pain, my joint pain, whatever that pain for their business that is. It could be collection expenses, hiring costs, time, the, the, the sales cycle. If you want to shorten the sales cycle to three weeks, that's a real problem that's gonna improve their bottom line and their sales. So whatever that problem to that audience is, that's what you're trying to solve, not any problem to anyone, all right? So most lead magnets are generated for a broad audience. That means that if you sell to three different industries on your business, don't make one that's gonna be good for all three of them. Because at that point, it's too watered down, it's not relevant, they're not really gonna solve any problem, they're not gonna really be happy after they download it, they're probably not gonna come back to download anything else. Content is the variable. Now in that process, you're actually selling. They trust you, like trust, for they buy. They trust you enough to give you their information, they're hoping that your expertise is gonna come through. In other words, you're gonna teach them something that they didn't know. You're gonna teach them, if you're an attorney, you're selling to businesses, you're gonna teach them something that they didn't know right? This is the expertise because what you're doing essentially is buying that expertise. They're going to go and say, look, this company actually knows what I'm looking for. They're the ones that taught me this trick. So I like to investigate that and maybe implement that for my business. If you're not learning anything new than that they already have, then probably the challenge is one and two. If they have to hire you, they're hiring you for your expertise. So think about that. You wanna make sure that you're displaying your expertise, not just all the logos and you know all the accolades that you got, that you're the best business, but why, right? What is that expertise? How are you gonna take that pain 
away from me by working with you because at the end of the day what you want is not just that contact information which everybody all marketers go crazy when somebody downloads something but really what matters is revenue what matters is that they purchased your product or service it isn't really going to be anything by having 100 people or 1000 people download your resource what really matters is that 10 people purchased it at the end of the month and you generated a million dollars of revenue so this next piece is about instant gratification this is where i just entered my information don't make me wait give me that download give me the resource right now because i have this really serious problem and by the end of the next five minutes if i don't get distracted or or somebody calls me and then get interrupted I want to solve that problem, right? I'm, I'm going to forget. So at the end of the day, if your Mark Tech solution isn't working or your email system stopped sending emails, thank you page, like doesn't look good. I can't get what I'm looking for. Thumbs down, right? Like I'm now upset. I'm, I'm, I'm mad because I thought you were going to fix my problem and, and all of a sudden technical issues happen, right? So my email is it's not sending me an email. So this is a huge piece many times this is unreliable technology that you might be using or outdated once you're going down the cheap route and essentially losing more revenue because the people that could be buying your services aren't even getting what they you know expect so if people aren't getting what they just downloaded they're not going to be very happy engaging in more content that you have to offer past that so you got a good check mark on that the worst thing that you do is not nurture or follow up with these leads that's another thing a lot of people spend a lot of time generating quality leads on their website but the very next hour that they're still engaging with your content are you doing anything with that tomorrow when they wake up with that problem are you sending another email encouraging them that they can fix this problem here's another you know quick tip and what about next week what about the week after? Are you going to ask them to take the next step in maybe getting an estimate or, or talking to a consultant or whatever it is that you do in your organization to move them to the next step in the funnel? Nurturing your leads and hap it happens automatically. It's marketing automation. That's what you want. You really want to engage them more in that hour and then slowly but surely continue to drift them with content that is of value because that's when they're most likely going to do something is when that problem is and why they came to your website in the first place. So if my problem is profitability or if my problem is growth or if my problem is hiring or problem is retaining, my problem is whatever it is, I'm likely to contact you as soon as I download that resource because I'm at the height of my pain. And so you wanna make sure that this is where automation and technology and landing pages and email nurturing and everything is at its best it's working because you're likely to convert them into a lead for your sales team much quicker if you are able to do that all right if you're not what happens is they might just go to another website and they might get tempted and fill out their form and their sales team closes them faster than you can get to them right like your automation isn't doing anything that it's supposed to so you don't want to be in that situation and then man this last one gets me every single time like i said Let's say you nail that audience, you know the specific problem that they go to sleep with, waking up with, that you know you could fix. So you have the solution, you displayed your expertise, created this masterpiece. You created this masterpiece, it's amazing. I mean, there's nothing better out there on the internet. Yet, you're spending only 20% of your budget, of the 100% of the budget, you're spending 20% promoting it, and you spend 80% of it creating it this is what happens every single day big amazing organizations amazing marketers create great content and they hide it behind a form and they leave it on the website and not tell anybody in the world about it i want you to do me a favor literally this bothers me every single time i want you to spend 20 percent of your time making it and i want you to spend 80 percent of your budget promoting it flip it and see what happens because if you really nailed that solution, that offer, if you're going to solve them immediately, of course they need to hire you to solve it, but the problem is they know what to do. Here's the step-by-step -step guide in how to get rid of whatever it is. And if you give them that, and you don't tell the whole world about it, it's not gonna serve you any good, right? It's not gonna get you the results that you're looking for. I want you to run every kind of ads. I want you to have this button on every page of your website, leading them to download this so that you can assist them right the job is not to create a new offer or a new lead magnet every single day that's not your job your job is to make a masterpiece and get as many people that fit that one problem 
download it and you convert them in and scale that one offer. And if you have three different, you know, industries that you're going after, you may have to create three different specific eBooks that solve their biggest pain that you can solve and generating the interest, getting the leads so that your sales team can convert them into paying customers is what you're really after in the first place. Anyway, when I get questions like, Hey, what do I got to do to get more leads? What do I got to do to get my lead magnets working properly? I go backwards, right? What are we doing to promote it? Uh, not much. How are we nurturing those leads that downloaded it? Mm, that's a good question. What technology are you using to send those emails out? Are they even getting to their inbox? Yes, that's a big problem that we're dealing with. Are you displaying your expertise or did like, you know, a college grad write this ebook? If you're not going to display your expertise, don't waste your time. And is it specific problem that you're solving to a specific audience? And how specific can you get? Can you get down to the revenue of that business, right? Can you get down to the headcount? Get down to something very deep. Only that person, that company can really identify, man, that's me right there. Then you have an amazing lead magnet then you're going to get leads every single day and you will be able to convert them if you nail these things right. This isn't complicated guys. This is what we do every single day. If you have questions about how to generate more leads and how to nail that lead magnets for your business, we have over a hundred consultants here at one IMS that can help you solve that, right? This is what we do. We challenge the status quo. And we want to make sure that our customers are getting more leads a lower cost per lead than anyone else, right? That's our job as growth marketers to get that edge on digital marketing. So if you have more questions on that, talk to one of our consultants. If you like this video, click that like button, consider subscribing, leave me a comment, tell me about lead magnets, horror stories. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about it. I'd love to have a follow up or answer any more questions that you might have. All right. So this is what digital marketing is all about. If you have questions, don't hesitate to send them our way. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.